So welcome back everyone, Triple M here. And if you own an Amazon Fire device, especially if you download third-party applications, you need to watch this video till the end. In this video, we're gonna do a virus scan. It's gonna check for viruses, Trojans, malware, and this app will help you make the decision whether you wanna keep those apps on your device that could be harmful. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into it. So if you're new to the channel, guys, please hit that subscribe button in the top right. Hit that notification bell. Don't forget the best way to support this channel. Always the smash your thumbs up and share this video if you think it might be helpful to someone else. So the app is called Virus Total Mobile, guys, and uh, it's pretty straightforward. Before we get into the scan, let me show you how to install it. So to get this installed, first of all, you need to make sure your third party apps are enabled. So you're going to go up and go over to your settings gonna go down and we're gonna go all the way over to my fire TV click there and on the developer options you want to make sure as from unknown sources is turned on now ADB debugging is optional but certain third-party apps does require that to be turned on so I'm just gonna leave it on for this tutorial hit home and next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go up and you're gonna to click to the left and you're gonna search for the downloaded application as if you don't have it already. So of course you can type it in or you can use the voice function on your remote. Downloader. All right, so big orange icon, can't miss it. Uh, Downloader has been unchanged for years now. Uh, we've been using it for a long time. So once you have Downloader installed, go ahead and launch it. And I already have the URL filled in right here. I'll be shout out to Troy Point, by the way. Uh, this URL, put it in exactly how you see it here. So it's HTTP colon forward slash forward slash TroyPoint.com forward slash virus. So pause the video if you need more time. Like I said, it's pretty straightforward. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash TroyPoint.com forward slash virus. So once you have that typed in, as I do here, go down, it's gonna click on go, and it will start downloading and installing immediately. And you can see the size is pretty small, guys. Uh, just let it do its thing. Go ahead and click install. And we're just gonna hit done. <clears throat> so once you have the app installed, you don't need the APK anymore ever on your device, especially on a fire device that the space is limited. You want to make sure you delete that APK after you install the application. So go ahead and click delete. I'm going to delete, confirm that. And now just hit the home button. Now there's an app right there. If it's not visible right there because you haven't launched it, you can go down to your apps and channels, go all the way over, go to see all and just go down to the bottom and there it is right there now from there you can either launch it or you can add it to your favorites if you hit the menu button on your remote which is the three lines you do have the option to move it all the way to the front so let's go ahead and do that and it will put it all the way to the top so hit the home button again and it should be right here permanently so let's go ahead and launch it guys so the resolution right here is gonna be a little bit off on the home screen. I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that in a little bit. It's pretty easy. And what I'll do is I'll link a video uh, showing you guys how to install the application to fix this. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit scan. Just a warning saying Google Play isn't supported on your device. Click OK. And this is where the results are. So if you notice on the left, you have a check mark right there. So what that's saying is that, hey, this app is good to go on your device. So we can scroll down, all the applications on mine are green. Now if you go to the right, you can go to the system applications, and it's gonna be the same thing, guys. Most of these apps are gonna be green. If you see anything that's red, that's a red flag that you need to delete it immediately. Now let me go all the way back up to the top. Now you see where it says 2B and it says detected and total 63. 
So let's go ahead and look at that for a little bit. So I know that Tubi is safe. However, it's seeing um, that particular instance as a Trojan. Not sure what that's about. What I'll do is I'll look that up and see um, if that signature makes any sense to anyone. But it's one of those things where you have to use your judgment. So if it's Tubi, which is obviously in the Amazon App Store, uh, it's probably safe. But if it's something that you downloaded from Google or from one of the other websites, and especially if you see more than one red on this screen right here, probably a good idea to research that error, guys, and possibly delete that application. Definitely, if it's an app that you have questions about, I do recommend deleting that application from your device. So let me go back a little bit. So Tubi is the only one up top that actually has one detected. And like I said, I'll do some research on that just to see what that is and why it's, um, it's given a positive or a false positive, and I'll, I'll let you guys know. Now, if I click over the system apps, let me go back up. You can see I have a lot of them that has that one detected. And let's click on them, see if they're the same thing. So that one is a banker, that Android OS. Let's go back. That one's a different one. All right, so that one has a, another one. So like I said, these are um, system applications. Good chance that they're good to go, but it's one of those things that I'm gonna look into. I'll let you guys know probably in the comment section as I go through these um, different positives. Let you know if there's room to be concerned or if there isn't. Like I said, um, wouldn't be too worried about the system applications or the apps that you get from the actual app store. But uh, if it's a third party app, and especially if you see more than one detection on there, probably a good idea to go ahead and get um, that application off your device. So let me just back out a little bit. And remember when we first launched the app, you can see the screen is kind of distorted, the resolution's off. Uh, that can easily be fixed with this application call set orientation. And what I've done, I've done a couple videos on this. I'll go ahead and put a card in the top right right now where you can go ahead and install that. But um, launch set orientation when you're done and um, click on the drop down. And for this app, what you want to do is go down to landscape, turn that on, click OK. And let's go ahead and launch it again. You can see resolution is a lot better. It's centered where it's supposed to be. And um, that basically fixes the issue. Just in general, if you don't have set orientation on your device, definitely recommend it. So that's it for this video. Like I said, uh, good idea to just quickly install this app, see what's on your device, see if anything to be concerned with. If you guys find anything interested, any application that we should steer away from, Drop that in the comment section below, guys. Uh, I'm sure that will help a lot of people out just to know which applications to avoid. So that's it for this video. Smash your thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you on the next one.